All right, so we're in my BIOS, and in order to do that, I have to use my phone for making a video. Um, yeah, so excuse the shaky hand and, and things like that. I apologize. I'll do the best I can to keep things steady. When I was in Windows during the uh, very first time using this machine and installing Windows and stuff like that, virtualization was not enabled, which I found weird because in my past boards, especially from MSI, virtualization just seemed to be enabled by default. It just, it just was. Um, but not with this one. Now, uh, I don't know how many differences there are between the MSI X570s or even like the B550 Tomahawk, for example, um, but there may be enough similarities here that you'll be able to follow. But this, this is the one that I'm using, okay? All right, now, so if you are, if you're using virtual machines, you're going to want to enable this uh, feature, especially because we're going to probably do some virtual machines on here, some videos about it anyways, so this is something you might want to end up doing. OC profile, okay, so it's in the OC, not settings, and then, where was it? Under, under here, you see CPU ratio, all this. You want advanced CPU configuration. And then you want to enable, I'm trying to get it, okay, enable, ah, sorry, there it is, SMV mode. Oh, let me move the mouse, I didn't realize it was in the way, ah. Yeah, S S S V M, not S M D. Right. So S V M mode. That's what you want to go over and have enabled. But this is what I've got under overclocking, advanced CPU configuration, AMD uh, virtualization mode is S V M mode. And you want to enable it. And that's how you enable virtualization. And then when you get into Windows, you will uh, be able to see it enabled in your uh, taskbar under the performance and the CPU tab. All right, now that you've activated your virtualization, you go to the taskbar, right click it. You go to Task Manager, you click on the Performance tab, then the CPU, actually it's going to be clicked already probably, maybe. If you'd like to get your view to look like this, you right click it and go to Change Graph to Logical Processor so that you can see all of them. And if you'd like, you can also show your kernel times. Now. Over here, you'll see virtualization is enabled. So before I went into BIOS and enabled that option, this was disabled. 